It's one thing to borrow a trillion dollars, as we in Australia are not quite there, but pretty close, at 1%. Yes. It's another thing to borrow a trillion dollars at 4%. Even if you just held your debt steady at a trillion, the cost of it, the interest cost, yep. is going to go from about 10 billion to 40 billion. It's going to go up $30 billion, yep. right? By right. about, what, 2030? Well, yeah, as it, as it rolls around. As it rolls around. Right. I, yeah. I'm just talking about projections. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah. six or seven years' time now. Yep, yep. Before Some of it's spend... already rolling up, by the way. Yes. Because yep. it's when your bonds roll yep. off, you know, and some of it won't roll off for uh, yep. another five yep. years and some, a very small amount, won't yep. roll, roll, roll off for 10 years. Yep. But on average, over time, you know, what we were borrowing at 1% yep. will move to whatever the rates are now, 4%, let's say. That's $30 billion yep. of extra interest, right? Well, $30 billion, just to put this in context, that's, that's the Medicare system. Yeah, that's right. So before you've done anything. That's just your cost. Yep. And whether the you're most doing recent, the most doing recent budget here school, in Australia said defense. the fast. For, here's a, here's a, here's a trick question: fastest growing area of government spending in the last year, interest, interest yes. costs. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you go back to 2006, 2007. What was our net debt to GDP ratio? Zero. Actually, yep. it was minus. It was, it was minus. minus. Yeah, right? that's right. We actually had money in the bank. The future fund. You want to go and have a look at uh, the Brits or the Americans? Yep. They were already up around 30, 40, right? So. When and they, losing control, which is the point. We're at 60 now. Yeah. Further shocks will lose control, just like they did. Yeah, and so if we'd have gone in at the, the levels that uh, they'd have gone in, we'd be at 100 now, mm. right? That's but right. we didn't. We went in at zero, right? So we're, 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 it's total federal and state, mm. 60, federal, 40. Uh, but next time we'll come out at 100. We're, 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 we're sort of, sort of... And when, when you hear people, this is always, you know, fascinates me, people... You know, often big spending people say, oh, we can afford to borrow more because, you know, by comparison, yeah. our debt to GDP ratio is low. It's only low because we actually paid it all off in 2007. If we hadn't have done that, if we'd have emulated the Brits or the Americans, or anything, it would be exactly the same as this. And of course, mostly the people who say, oh, it's low, we can afford to borrow more, were the people who opposed paying it off back yes. then. <laughs> you know, so, oh, let's take the benefit of the policy we yeah. opposed back then. Oh, OK, I mean, that's <laughs> politics, isn't it? <laughs> but, and, and, but my response to that is to say, just understand, we are at the point where other major economies lost control. Yeah, and you lose control. And, and for those of my beloved listeners, and I say this really sincerely, who, whose eyes are glazing over saying that's just an argument about economics, a sweet set of numbers. It's not. You're closely tying it to outcomes for people, particularly young people. Young That's people. the point. Young people. This is the point. This is the point. The young people, that debt, that trillion dollars debt, which they didn't borrow, right? wasn't borrowed when, when they were adults in the world. That trillion dollar debt becomes their debt. Yep. And the $40 billion of interest payments yep. becomes their debt. Payment yeah. year after year after year yeah. after year, right? Yeah. So that's that's what you need. You know that you need another forty billion dollars in addition to their schools, their hospitals, their defence, and then another forty billion for what happened back here. I think these things are incredibly important, as as you think and as I think. And I think one of the problems, to pay you a compliment, and tentatively, nervously say this, perhaps even your predecessor, and we might have disagreed with him politically, but you explain things. No one's explaining this now. So young people are inclined. I don't want to be down on them. That's not my objective. But they've been fed a constant diet of government can solve this problem. No one points out the obvious. It's actually governments don't have money. Mm. And when they spend money, it belongs to taxpayers. Mm. And if today's taxpayers don't live within their means, then the children, That's right. when they're adults, and this is going, they're worried about flatlining wages and increasing asset prices now. All mm. of this simply promises to make it worse. Mm.